The campaign has been going for under a year and we've, we've seen in that time an explosion in rough sleeping. Um, if you compare the area that we're focusing on tonight with how it was even a few years ago, um, you would have struggled to find rough sleepers in this area. Um, but now, uh, you know, in an hour and a half, we will see about 50 people. We start at King's Cross St Pancras um, and we head along the Euston Road to Warren Street. We then turn left at Warren Street uh, down towards Tottenham Court Road where we turn right uh, towards Oxford Circus and that's where we finish. People bring donations to our outreach sessions, uh, hot food, um, non-perishable food uh, and other items, warm clothes, sleeping bags. A lot of the people that we see are people that we see for the first time, which shows you, again, how much the situation is worsening. There are some people that we see um, regularly, and I think it's good for them um, to know that we're gonna be there every week, because that gives them um, a little bit of hope for that one night that they're gonna see us, and it gives them a bit of consistency, and that's important. Um, and, you know, we hear all sorts of experiences from people whose uh, relationships have broken down to people who um, have been forced onto the streets because of benefits, sanctions, uh, mental health difficulties, drug abuse, um, sexual abuse. Um, you see also a lot of people um, that came here as refugees um, or immigrants who have, have been forced onto the streets and that's something that's been really noticeable. You have seen shows such as Benefit Street and other kinds of poverty pornography uh, proliferate so that it is now much more acceptable to denigrate um, people uh, who lack money and opportunities um, and of course there's nobody who, who you know, no, nobody lacks those opportunities more than homeless people. But there's also a sense of uh, invisibility that a lot of rough sleepers have. Um, on New Year's Eve we were out and we had the irony of uh, middle class couples walking along the strand trying to wear as little as possible and rough sleepers huddled up in shop doorways. The biggest challenge, really, is a lack of recognition among most people of how bad this situation is. That's the biggest pressure, because uh, if there were enough people concerned about this problem, then we'd be able to do a lot more about it. Um, we are a very open and inclusive campaign, and we'll work with anyone. We work with all sorts of organisations to try and tackle this crisis. But, you know, frankly, where there's a will, there's a way, and if people want to get involved, whatever their background, then we welcome them.